Darren grew up knowing the gospel and knowing you know, kind of what it meant to be a Christian, but had never really trusted Jesus as her Savior. And uh, they had gone through some kind of difficult times and, and just had one particular uh, setback. And uh, just, um, and I'm not talking about their marriage, by the way. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. But I don't want to. But I, it, okay, they, they were trying to have kids, and she had a miscarriage, and it was not her first, and it was just a very, very difficult circumstance. And she just got down on her knees in her home and prayed and trusted Jesus as her Savior, and then said, "God, we we need a church." And uh, Forrest uh, sells cars as a car salesman and a manager at a dealership. And he, um, shortly thereafter, Wade Wofford, one of our church members, right after Aaron had prayed, you know, you need to show us a church. Wade comes in looking for a car. There's this divine appointment. You know, he and Forrest there at the same time, and he invites him to church. And uh, they come to church and uh, been involved and uh, both become believers and want to celebrate through baptism this morning. And so we're just thrilled to get to be a part of this thrilled just with what God's doing in your life. Uh, Forrest sits at my table at Impact on Wednesday nights, and it's just been neat to watch God working in his hearts and in his life. And so today, let me just remind you of what baptism is. It's it's a picture. Uh, you, most of you know this is not holy water. I always kind of jokingly say it's greenwood water. And uh, so you can baptize with it, but don't drink it. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but what it is, there's nothing holy about it. It's just symbolic. They both have trusted Jesus as their Savior and their Lord, and that's what makes them Christians, their faith and trust in Jesus. But this is the way Jesus taught us to let everyone know, and it's an important step. And so when they go into this water and they go under it, it's kind of two pictures at once. Uh, one picture is them going down and coming up, and it's like a picture of their sins being washed away, the way Jesus washed away their sins by his death on the cross. It's also a picture of going down in the grave spiritually, and who you used to be is now dead. And as 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, now you're both a new creation. And that's been evident from walk, walking with you all, talking with you guys. And so um, this morning we're going to begin by having Wade baptized for us since he was there and got to be a part of uh, that their story. So I'm going to force let you hop on in there and can I yeah, you can swim around for one if there's enough room in there. And uh, this let Wade uh, baptize you. Of course, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior? Yes. And do you commit to follow Him for the rest of your life? I do. Well, it's my privilege and honor to uh, baptize you, my brother, uh, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried in baptism. Praise to walk in newness of life. Well, Aaron, I kind of just shared your story, but just so everyone could hear from you. Have you trusted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And do you commit to follow Him for the rest of your life? I do. And it's because of your profession of faith that I baptized you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Him in baptism, 